what the fuck my life is so good right now. Should I do it again? I, this is why I'll tell you what I said over the phone, and I'll say it to you in person. You should do it if you want to. And the reason why you should do it if you want to is because the world needs more wild people. The world needs more wild people. People are goddamn scared right and now. You identify one of the most traumatic moments of your life, and that you can't, you're stuck. You can't, you can't get past. I can't get past my parents divorcing. I can't get past failing at the, you know, national, you know, whatever right. that moment is. And so then you keep playing that on a loop in your brain. And no matter what you do in life, that's always still going on. And so it's a tool to, to rewire your brain. So it's like, okay, you're going to play yourself. How old were you then? 16. Okay, so you're Joe Rogan, 16. Who was there? My dad was there, my mom was there, my coach, you know. And then so all the other people play the roles of those things. And then you just go through, and then what happens? And then this guy punched me. Pause. What you but so the talking tongue, so you, there was no real words. You just sat down and decided. This is what the I'm butt gonna... plug one sounds like. How many hours does it go for? <laughs> I don't really understand why you wouldn't have stopped after the first few seconds. That's a hell of a butt plug. Like a water bottle? Eight ounce? What is it? Eight ounce? Sixteen? Sixteen ounces? Yeah, eight ounces would be not that big a deal. I get it. So the, so you got it the language thing that you did, did you talk any English or just get in virus mm -hmm. as the flu? It's a, it's a, a virus that gets out into the other people that are around you and you could be real lucky and you could live in a uh, in an area of a uh, mind nature a peaceful valley with a beautiful mountain and a creek that goes through it and that's the that's the community that you're in you got lucky you grew up in a wonderful community with fantastic parents and great neighbors and your aunt your aunt your aunt over and everybody has good times and oh sure there's a little bit of hardship here and there but for the most part love each other it's not fair. It's not fair. When that guy yells at you like that, man, it's hard to internalize all this in the moment. You are being in his head. Well, I'll tell you, tell you what happened. I go, I, I become jealous of comedians because when I'm at a comedy show and I see hecklers and I'm like, that guy, quick with that. Yeah, but and when I, I tell you something, I won't do that in real life. I don't do that in real life. Really? There, no. Some guy cuts you off. You don't have a fast one, right? No. No. You know what, it, so I reflect on it when I go home and I go, what did I say the last time this happened? And then I start laughing. It's an unfair game. It's right. unfair. It's unfair with your mind. Like the, the idea that everybody has their mind is ridiculous. I know my mind is dog shit compared to Elon Musk's. I've talked to him. Everybody has different different attributes. Everybody has, everybody has different environment. Everyone has different family life, genetics, influences, abuse. Uh, assaults, different things that have happened to you. A guy confessed to me that he was thinking of raping me when I stayed at his house. Oh, Jesus. You like, stayed at his house? You didn't hitchhike? You hitchhoused? I was in, uh, I was in the deep south. I was in the deep south. It was like my, I was trying to hitchhike from L.A. to, to New York City. I was with my friend Brian. Okay. No one's gonna pick up two fucking dudes. And John Wayne picks us up, cowboy guy. A little ten gallon hat, you know. Damn, you boys look, you know, hot out there. Get in the car. And he's telling us about shrimp po boys and you know, he's just he works on a um, offshore offshore oil rig. And uh, it's uh, two weeks on, two weeks off, and it's just two weeks off right now. So he's like, Where are you guys headed? And we're like, we're just trying to get to New York. New York! You want to go there for a bunch of queers out there? I don't know. Stuff like that. And I stayed up for the first hour, and I see his him walking around his room. The lights are on. And I'm like, this, this guy is not going to sleep. Like, One in the morning. He's still, I'm like, what the fuck? Why won't this guy go to sleep? Putting his mask. So, so I nudge Brian. I go, hey, you're done. I got a flashlight. I'm gonna fucking pass out. He's out cold. Fuck, dude. Fuck, man. I'm too tired, and I go. Okay, I'm just gonna stay up the whole night. I'm, I'm up. I 
guys are close. Back up again. Gripping the knife. And then sometime around 5.30 in the morning or something. I, my eyes are closed, but you know when you feel someone? Mm -hmm. So he, he comes out of his room. Like, I'm in a thick, thick Congolese jungle. Like, I don't know how to get out. And we've been lost for days. Like, I don't know how to survive. I don't know how to, like... I, I, this is it, you know? And on top of it, I have this fucking German asshole who's, like, talking down to me, making fun of me, and eating my fucking rations. Like, I would pump all the fucking water and put the, the water purification tablets and be like, thanks. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck, man? Like, that, I did all that work so we could share it. And a dick. And so... And you've stuck in you've been in a jungle like that there. before? No. Dude, so we set up a tent. We have one tent. And so we're, we're in close quarters with each other. At night, the moon is fucking big. Like, it's humongous. And you hear the entire jungle come alive. What? Like, fucking monkeys and... Like, things are bumping into the tent at night. Like, huge insects. And, like, for weeks now. And I'm... And if I have to eat them to survive, I guess I'll do that. And so he's out cold. He's got fucking crumbs on his face. He's got fucking juice from the food that was supposed to be shared. And I pick up... I go outside the tent and I pick up... I pick up a huge rock. I'm done. <laughs> like, I tap out. Like, so they're explaining, like, all the... The trek and the way to go find this dinosaur. And I'm like... I went up until the leeches. And then when I came out with the leeches, I go, alright. I, I, like, this, this is it, you know? I go, can you help us get out of the jungle? And they're like, it took less than a day. That's how close we were to, like... They're very strong bows. So... so just pulling them back, probably a tremendous... Look. Everyone knows how to hunt. The kids know how to hunt. The... What are they using for the feathers at the end of the I know that. I know that guy. The one yeah. that's... Uh... Which guy? No. Guy. Down. Yeah, that guy. Yep. I stayed with that guy. No, really? Yeah. He's older now. See the cuts on his face? Yeah. They cut my face. Really? Yeah, I asked them to because I like pain. You never see in all the National Geographics and all the nature documentaries is that... It's always serious. And here's the Hadza warrior. And here's, you know, whatever Nate. These guys crack. You know, they're like, "Do you wanna, do you wanna come with us tomorrow? Like, none of your eating cliff bars and hanging back. Like, you wanna?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm in." Okay, we leave at first. You know, the second. How are they saying this all? To you? I have the translator with me. Oh. He 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 like works with them and the you know, it's like worst case scenario when they do, we, they don't do food. This this is the sad part. They do the fake show for the tourists. Like the tourists come in, usually European, and then they put on the fake. It's not fake, it's real, but they dress up and do like dances and stuff and they give them money. Um, so I wake up at, you know, 5, 5.30. First noise. Whoop. And then laughter. I'm like, are these fuckers doing fart jokes at 5 in the morning? And that's the thing that people don't realize is when you don't have TV, internet, entertainment, and you're just with your family and your homies all day, bored as fuck so they joke morning till night like brain gets and then it's like a delicacy at the end they like tap a hole in and it's you know they have black skin like i remember like it was fire it was in the cave it's nighttime and i hear i just hear eating and i turn my my flashlight on and i see like the whole tribe just chowing the brains at the end they're like this is our favorite part and they're, yeah, and they're just like, just, and then, so it's all those white brains like streaked on their face, and I'm like, yo, you want to get in on this? Give me some of that brain. So I had some brain, and did you really? I ate everything. I mean, it's there. It is. Oh Doesn't that look like a person? So once the fur is no, yeah, good. Once once the uh, the the fur look, this is fucking. Should life. you put it on screen or no? Look, I have some trouble. This. Well, let me just say this. If that's I, how hardcore this picture is, right? Yeah. I find it Look for like, like you want to talk about this is life or death. This yeah. is you oh, know the, this thing. parasite. Bitch. <laughs> fucking parasite. <laughs> Dave Chang, best fucking chef in America. Roy Choi, fucking K-pop, dominating, dominating the fucking. Um, Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee, Steve Lee, like. 
we're, we're ki kimchi on the menu everywhere now. Everywhere. Everywhere. If you want everywhere. some kimchi pizza, you want some it's fucking probiotic, all probiotic all shit up in your gut, you know, like everywhere. This tiny fucking country in Korea. You know, my dad's getting pumped up. So yeah. We fucking did it, man. And all the texts are still coming. Yes. There's a there's a racist. Uh, what the fuck's the term? It's called a perpetual foreigner. Where it, where it doesn't matter that you. I was born in Los Angeles. That you always feel like 